Hello everyone, welcome back to another video from Winter Forest. Today let's continue our recall challenge. Today question called search in a binary search tree. Let's look up the description. Given the root lot of a binary search tree BST and a value, you need to find the load in the BST that the load's value equal the given value. Return the subtree noted with that load. If such node doesn't exist, you should return now. Let's look up the first example. So here is the given tree, and you search for noted loads too. In here, the given example you actually is founded in this one. Um, for binary search, actually the best way is to use recursive because either you just search left or just search right. For this question, um, it is a very simple question. Basically, you just uh, search in here, you say search BST and you give the root value and this value. The root have a value, you compare the root value equal to this one. If equal, you just directly just return. If not, you need to compare, go to left or go to right. In BST tree, left and smaller than the root value, the right bigger than the root value. So you going to find it, the given not the value is smaller than the root value, then you go to the left. If bigger than the root value, then you go into the right. Each time you move, then this one change to the root. If you find this one, you just return. Otherwise, you keep recursively looping. So just let's write it. We could write this in recursive, and then we could change it to write it in a iterative way. First, just start it. And like I said, you first just straight away compare. You root. First, you just see the edge case. If the root equal to now, then you just simply return now. Now also is the root. Second thing, then you go into search if the root dot the value equal to the value. So the root it is already defined. Then you just return the root. Or you go into compare the value is greater than the root dot the value. In the binary search tree, the right is bigger than the um, root value, so we just go into the call ourself and we go into the root value, the right, because you expect to find something bigger than the root, so we go into the right, so the right loads become the root, and you still looking for this value. If you didn't go in this one, then you probably just go to the left, so if because in binary search tree, you either go right or go left, so you even don't need to write if else. So if not bigger than the value, so definitely it is smaller than the value, then you go into the left. So you direct return, call yourself, and you go into the root dot left, and still looking for the value. Now we just uh, Run the code to see if uh, have any syntax issue. Yeah, it's fun and uh, quite quick. It uh, return just submit it. Now, afterwards we could uh, change it to uh, iterate way. Okay. Yeah, it accepted. And now we're going to change it to return in iterate way. So basically, we just need a while loop. So first, we compile, we convert this code to a while loop. Instead of recursively, we can check, make sure the root not equal to null. If the root not equal to null, it's still the same thing. You compare the root value and the left value or right value. So we just check root dot the value. If root the value already equal to the value, then you already find it. Then just finish it, return the root. And else you check if the value and smaller than the root 
or the value. Then you go into the root left. Then you update the root equal to root to the left. You continue, then you continue the second one. You don't finish it. So if not the left, then only can be the right. Then you have another else. If not satisfied with the top two condition, then only can be updated to use the root equal to root to the right. Because it's not equal, not a small, no, then only can be big. So you go into the right to find if this can, can be. If this is, then you just return. And after this loop, you didn't finish it. You finish the whole loop, you didn't find it. Then you just return now. My personally more prefer every time you, if I meet a binary research tree, I normally use the recursive because it's quite a simple, straightforward and standard. In here, um, also quite a very simple, just use the while loop because it's either left and right. But sometimes I forgot this one. Oh, no, no, no. Sometimes you forgot the base, the base scenario in here. Okay, just run the code first. Make sure still pass. It finish so the second time they finish it. Now we also submit it. It running again. It also accepted. Thank you for watching. Bye.